Hey guys, James with Texted Life. Today we're going to be building this reverse rollout nesting box for our chicken coop. Let's go. I got this off of Amazon. I'll add a link to the description. This one is a reverse nesting box so the eggs roll towards the back of the box instead of the front. It came unassembled so we just need to put it together. This green part is the roof so we start putting it together upside down. This isn't super clear in the instructions but these elongated circles should be face down towards the roof. We start by attaching the back and one of the sides to the bottom using the included bolts and nuts loosely using our hands. We don't want it to be too tight yet as we line up all of the holes throughout the build. Attach the back of the other side next. Attach the front of each side to more firmly keep them in place. Attach the back of the centerpiece as well. It should really only fit one way. Attach the L-shaped piece to the top back of the closed wall. It can be a little tricky, but the screw holes should all line up for all three pieces. Next, we attach the more square-shaped long piece to the top front open side of the box. Again, we line up the three screw holes in each side piece and the center piece. Now we can tighten everything down using a flathead screwdriver and a socket wrench or whatever other type of wrench you have handy that is small enough to fit. a bit easier to initially attach the perch brackets while the box is still upside down. Flip the box over and attach the dowels to the perch brackets. Tighten down the perch brackets to the box. Attach the flaps to the angled baskets. This was actually the hardest part of the build. You really need to put some force to get them to clip into the basket. Put the nesting box with the perches hanging off the end of a table and slide the baskets into the bottom of the box to ensure that everything fits as expected. the old nesting box which was surprisingly only held up on the wall by two screws. You can tell by the tape that this box has seen some things. Here I am marking the wall where I plan to cut the metal out of the wall for the roll away part of the box to go. There is definitely a much safer way to do this than using a grinder, so I don't really recommend it. 
If you do choose to use a grinder for something like this, make sure you at least have eye protection and ear protection. I've seen some crazy injuries and almost injuries when a grinder blade breaks in use. Impact resistant goggles or glasses can really save your eyeballs here. It is always fun to make sparks fly using a grinder though. You can tell by the not so straight line of that cut that I'm not really exactly an expert with the grinder, but hey, I got the job done. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to just enjoy the sparks and the sound of the grinder without my voice in the way. Technically, you were supposed to install this so that only the front open part of the box is poking inside the coop, but I didn't have enough room between the wall supports, so I just cut the hole big enough to put the egg part out and be able to open it to grab the eggs. I drilled my own holes through the back wall and used some screws with washers to hold it on. Kind of hard to tell from this angle, but the weight is all at the front of the box, so the front is actually below where the eggs roll out, so the eggs don't really effectively roll where they're supposed to. I fixed this by getting some eye hooks and some coated metal wire and strapping the front up so that everything was leveled properly. And there we have it, the eggs rolled towards the back of the box. I can now easily come and grab the eggs without having to go inside the coop and fight with those broody hens. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and follow for more tech and homesteading videos.